Hi guys, so I included some of the, um, the shell or outer part of um, the garlic. It's just, it, be, it gives that flavor and aroma. Okay, we wanted to take out that metallic taste and the blood, the pork blood. Okay, so we need to, um, I put some fresh ginger. I also put some um, um, powder ginger. Okay, so we're gonna uh, saute that and make sure that it's golden brown. Okay, and all these uh, bits and pieces, those are going to be flavored. Okay. I could smell that garlic and onion combined with ginger. I'm going to add a little butter to it. Okay, so... And then soy sauce. There, I actually wanted to add more, maybe a little bit more. There you go. So now you're gonna add some soy sauce, and that will bring more flavor. Okay, we're not gonna measure the soy sauce, we're just gonna add all that sauce. One of these that depends on how you want the flavor as well. Okay, that. Um, sauce, right? That depends on entirely up to you. Okay, I also wanted to add a lemon pepper seasoning. You could add um, tamarind uh, powder or tamarind mix for sinigang. That could also be an option. Okay. Okay, just want to add that. But I'm going to add one more again to seal the flavor towards. Okay, so I'm going to add that whole uh, meat. Pork, okay. Okay, we're gonna try to simmer that. It's not really fatty, right? It's not much fat on this to uh, render the fat because rendering the fat will actually add flavor. I have this um, lemongrass, okay? It's frozen. I'm gonna add this for flavor, okay? So usually, if it's fresh blood, right? Um, we would um, strain it and all that step and process, but because I bought this, um, Frozen and um, I've used this before at this company, Pampanga. I live in Toronto, Canada, so it's not always available for us. But this one, like I said, I've used this before. Okay, so we're just going to put it directly. And um, we're going to saute it with that before we put the final um, sauce for it or liquid. Okay, because we wanted to saute the blood with the meat. Okay. So I added water because at the bottom there's still blood, you don't want to waste that. Again, I live in Toronto, Canada, it's not all, always available to us, okay? An onion, so it will actually integrate it with those, um, with those flavor already, so, okay? Because you don't want to, um, the blood to clump up. Right. And also, I just want to add a little FYI because um, a lot of people, uh, they don't eat blood, right? Pork, necessarily pork or pork blood. Okay, so it's important that we are not going to be a stumbling block for anybody. Okay, so if they believe that, we will be respecting those beliefs. We're not going to be eating or serving any of these food around them because we see they will feel that, that, that they are sinning against their God against their religion or culture or whatever you believe, right? So it's really important that we know that. I'm a Christian, so I really don't, you know, I don't believe that the food, whatever you um, put in your mouth will affect. It's what's in your heart. God sees us.
through our heart. That's what Jesus Christ represents, the sacred heart of Jesus. He based everything on how pure your heart is. Nothing will interfere um, your relationship with God with what we put in our mouth. Okay? What really matters is what comes out from our mouth. Okay? Just a little FYI. This, I just want to put senses of because being a Christian, I'm a Christian first of anything. Okay? Just want to add that. Now we can add water if we want. Okay, I already have a pre-boiled water that I'm going to use. You can also add a little Sprite if you want, but I still have to add water in this. Flavor it, a little, a little bit of um, salt pepper towards the end. And you can also add any uh, sort of pepper of, of your choice later on. Okay, it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to add a little water, okay? But I could add more later on. That depends on your preference, okay? I actually want to eat it right now. Although it's, um, I know it's Holy Week, but um, my family, my kids, they're not Christian. Um, so I, you know, only on Fridays that um, they practice. No meat, no sex, no nothing, you know, you can't even uh, do any um, labor work, right? It's a rest day. Uh, you have to relax and just meditate on the Word of God, right? Give that uh, ample time to know the Word of God on Friday. Um, that's what usually um, Roman Catholic. Okay, so I'm going to try this dish now and see how it tastes. Okay, everything is cooked. And we actually, in fact, have to just add water to it. Okay? Okay, so we're going to try this, guys, okay? We're going to see how it tastes. Hmm. It's really, really good. But you need that vinaigrette taste. You need either vinegar, which I'm going to put a little vinegar, a little sinigang mix, like I said, or tamarind, and uh, pepper, and salt, and it's ready. Okay, and of course a little sprinkle of brown sugar to balance the acidity of it. It's a must, right? I don't, but you have to put it towards the end. Okay? Hi there, so I've mentioned how to eat that. Um, basically, eating it with rice or um, any form of um, like bread, you could also use, okay? But this is Japanese rice, in case the family wants um, this type of rice, okay? I'm just trying to um, evenly distribute it because when it boiled, I um, I didn't put it in, in low heat so that it will um, evenly cook, okay? So we're gonna uh, add one quart cup of vinegar, any vinegar. I'm just using white vinegar, okay? Hi guys, so this family is a meat eater. Okay, so I'm adding these. Like okay. Although we love vegetables, like I raised my kids knowing how to love vegetables. Right? But again the whole family is a meat eater, so I'm, I think the meat might not be enough. And I have um I have a guest like she's like family. She's here, so I'm gonna ask. Like my knees. So I'm gonna add that. Okay, I'm just gonna 
it's just this roll of beef and I'm just cutting it okay and this is easily to cook so you don't need to um, cook them too long okay you can incorporate that so Okay, that's all she wrote guys. It's really ready for um, a good meal.